Yo, 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 hey guys, it's Poppin' Jock Slate here. Back with another unboxing, and today I have something very cool for you guys. This is the UA Slip Speed. It's a brand new shoe from Under Armour, and it has a lot of features that I think you're definitely going to like. They sent me this huge box because I am part of the initial group of people that are helping launch this shoe. So big shout out to Under Armour for sponsoring this video. With them sponsoring this video, that means this is not an actual review, but this is more of a showcase of what the shoes can do. I'm gonna give you some on-feet shots to show you some of the features of the shoe. All right, let's jump right into it. Let's get this out of here so you guys can get a good look at the shoe. You see here, slip speed right there, letting you know, very nice. So in here, got a little paperwork. We got the shoes. So let's see, again, UA slip speed. And there's really like six parts of this shoe that I think you should know about. So you see here, it has some details about the shoe here the slip speed, so you the heel down, then the heel up, slip on, and then the speed for when you're training. Uh, fresh, it's breathable, it has grip, it's cool, it's clean, flip and click. I'll show you all the details of all of that stuff, just kind of give you a quick breakdown. I love getting these cool packages. Let's first take a look at the shoe. So it looks like any other training shoe that you would see has the ventilated upper, which keeps it breathable, which is obviously nice. You have some protection here at the toe, which is really nice. Now, again, this is a training shoe and not necessarily a basketball shoe. The second thing is the BOA system. Now, you often see the BOA system on golf shoes. It's not something that's really had an opportunity to break out in the world of training and basketball and really other sports really in general. It's mostly you see it in the world of, of golf. And what it does is it locks your foot down like nothing else that you can imagine. So this here twists around, and I don't know if you guys can see it here, but it tightens up the laces and it gives you a pretty even tightening from all the way at the bottom, all the way to the top. And then when you want to release it, you just pop it up and it releases the laces or the strings as they're called. And this isn't going to come loose. So if you're a person that likes to train with your shoes really tight, this will get you really tight and locked in. You don't have to worry about it coming loose. Again, unless you pop it up and then you can loosen it up there. Now, the other thing about this shoe is it has the curry flow on the outsole slash midsole. So what that means is you don't get any rubber on these. But I know traditionally when you think about an outsole, you think of rubber. This way, the traction pattern is actually embedded directly into the curry flow, which is very, very responsive, as you can see here. Very nice. You're going to get a lot of response out of here. There's a shank. It looks like a small shank plate. Yeah, a small shank plate in here. So that gives you a little bit of rigidity to make it pop, give you the pop that you need. So you see how like that's really trying to pop back into, into the shape. That's really the foam and the addition of the shank plate to kind of give you that rigidity that you need. Now, the, the cool thing about this shoe, the thing that I think takes this shoe to the next level is actually the heel. So it looks like a traditional heel. You don't have a heel counter here, but you have this collapsible heel that goes down and you can actually wear this like this. Actually, here's some footage of me testing it out, showing you what it looks like. So what this does is allows you to wear this shoe like a traditional training shoe with this up and it's actually stretchy here. So this is all neoprene here. Basically, it's like a neoprene booty that's inside this outside textile material. And you can see here, as I open it up a little bit, you see that you have like this booty on the inside, but you also have this outside layer that's gonna give you protection. There is a slight like gloss over it, which I imagine is gonna make that outside waterproof. Definitely these aren't water shoes by any regard, but they, they'll give you some protection if you're working out in the morning, out in the grass, in the dew. Uh, you don't really have to worry about your foot getting wet. This should provide you with a little bit of protection. Now, the neoprene is padded. It's padded in a couple of different places, right underneath the tongue to give you the pressure relief from the BOA system. But then you also have a little pad here at the back of the heel. So that's gonna give you some Achilles support, but also when this lays down, it's gonna serve as al almost like an additional padding for your foot, which I think is really cool. Under Armour did some research before they made this shoe and what they realized is that a lot of athletes, they would basically take off their shoes and then they would slide their feet back into their shoes and wear them 
like this. So this shoe is kind of serving as one, a training shoe, but also serving as a recovery shoe. And the way that they've done that is obviously they have the neoprene with the padding there so you can wear it as a training shoe, but when this goes down, it almost cups you a little bit here. So you do have a little bit of extra protection so these aren't actually sliding off your feet. So it won't serve as like a traditional slide, like a flip-flop style. This would be more like a clog or a croc style shoe where your foot can fit inside, but it won't just fly off because you have this extra heel piece here that's gonna keep you locked in. I'm really excited what Under Armour was able to do. And I think that people that train see how valuable something like this is going to be. You don't need to bring an extra pair of shoes. You don't need to bring an extra pair of slides. You can literally bring these to train in. And when you're done training, slip your foot out and wear these like a slide. And then you have like your recovery shoe. In addition to training, I think the shoes will work just for all day wear, for someone that's on their feet all day, shoe in general. And I think Under Armour did a good job of taking into account all the things that one, you need when you're trained, but also when you're finished training, the comfort that we often seek, uh, the relief that we often seek, and this shoe is able to provide the lockdown fit you need to train, but then the relief that you need afterwards and that recovery period that you need afterwards. Anyway, so let's jump into the other things. They, they sent, this is a laundry bag. So if you wanted to actually wash these, literally just throw them in the bag and then throw them into the washing machine and you can wash these, they're machine washable, which is always nice. You don't have to worry about keeping them clean. You can get them dirty from your training, throw them in the bag and wash them over the weekend and then they're ready to go for you on Monday morning. And then they also sent over uh, some gear. So let's take a look at what we have here. Oh, this is a nice, like, it looks like a nice crew neck. So thank you to Under Armour for the crew neck. This obviously does not come with the shoes. Uh, this is just part of the media kit, but just wanted to give you guys a look at it. So thank you Under Armour for this as well. But again, this is the Under Armour Slip Speed. Very nice shoe. Again, the, all the six things you can do. It has the grip with the Under Armour Flow, the perforated upper, the BOA Fit system. They're calling the ISO Chill system, which is the neoprene insert, the machine washable. And finally, the thing that I think is the coolest about them, which is the convertible heel. Uh, check these out. These actually are available right now. If you want to try them out, uh, go over to a UA brand store. I definitely tried them out there. If you want to put them on your feet and walk around with them, that's probably the best thing to do, especially if you train. That way you can get both sides of it, the fit of them locked down, and then the fit of them as basically as slides. Anyway, as always, I appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching. Big shout out to Under Armour for sponsoring this video. Uh, as always, make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below, and I'll get right back with you guys. All right, I'll see you soon. Peace.